Hi guys, my name's Sid Partridge and I'm trying to make a million pound cleaning business. Here's where we're at. We've got a long way to go and we're gonna do it one dirty oh, playground at a time. Let's get to it. Dirty, dirty playground guys. This is a full circle job. So some of you might remember this one. This was the first playground that I had ever cleaned on my YouTube channel before. Um, and it was one of my first videos that actually did really well um, and kind of kickstarted my channel and brought a lot of you guys in. Um, so yeah, it's really cool to be back. Obviously it's been about three years, I think guys. So it's got dirty again, but it wasn't as bad as the first time I did it. That was crazy. Um, I did it with Jess, if you guys remember. It was a wicked day. It took us about eight hours, I think, straight with my terrible tiny machine back then. But I've got all new kit now. I think I'll be done here in a couple of hours this time, but we'll see. We're doing the work, so we're chemically treating it, steam cleaning it, clean up all of this wood as well. All of this has gone all green, so we'll get all this sorted. But yeah, what a cool job to have on a nice spring day. Proper full circle thing. New style of videos, but back to the same old job. So. Right, let's start these machines up and get cracking. It is pretty bad, guys, look. All around here, so much moss growing out of it. Mud and everything, look, so it's uh, definitely overdue.
Right, there's been an update, guys. I don't have a spade or a shovel. So, looks like I'm scooping up by hand today. But, we do have a brand new brush, which is always a good day. There's actually a lot more has, uh, has come off this than I thought there would, to be honest. And I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Oh God, Sid, it looks terrible. Oh no, what have you done? Don't worry, it's just obviously where I've went in with the lance first. Um, it's just a little bit more concentrated pressure and obviously I've been steaming as well, so the heat has just basically melted that a lot easier. And you go over it with a flat surface cleaner and it doesn't quite clean as well as obviously a concentrated fan um, that's sort of straight on it instead of spinning around, if you know what I mean. If I went at like, snail's pace i mean it probably would take me about 20 hours but it would all be like that but we're going to be chemically treating this guys so uh, some of these i remember from last time some of these dark corners here are just very dark and there wasn't much i could do about it but i'm hoping i can get more of an improvement but you can see obviously where it's been under the uh shade above us protected from the weather it's literally perfectly clean um there's like not a stain on it so over there we will do our best to get that as neat as possible so yeah let me uh the drainage as always guys is a problem so it drains down there a little bit and does not drain there at all so i'm having to kind of force it out through that door so i'll get this mud up and then continue my rinse down bonanza There's actually no way guys, check this out. I've been having the other time lapse camera on here. I didn't even realize what I attached it to. Lifesaver. More frogs, they're everywhere. I think they're hiding out under the uh, under the surface. Hello, he's pretty cute. Okay guys, I'm gonna let that last bit drain away slowly wherever the hell it's draining to. So stage one complete guys, it's all been cleaned. Um, it's definitely ready for a chemical treatment now. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Now, a lot of people um, might just leave it like this and it will only look worse, man. I mean, in a couple of months, if it starts to get a little bit of growth coming back, oh my days, it'll look terrible. So that's why you need to put the chemical on, um, try and even out all of these bloody marks. Let's hope my chemical's not out of date, guys.
Okay guys, treatment is on. It's already changing colour. It's all going a lot brighter already, which is lovely to see. Beautiful. Folks, there we are. What do you reckon, guys? I think that is pretty nice. All those lines are gone. I told you, do not fear, they will be gone with the chemical treatment. So, yeah, check it out. I mean, look how clean this is, folks. Like, if we get really in there, let's have a little walk around at ant level. Look at that. There is literally nothing. This here, I went over this. It's, I remember this from last time. This basically it's where the rubber's worn. If you look close in, look, it's actually like where the layer of rubber is actually worn away. So um, there's another little bit there as well. And it's, I don't know if something's been sat on it or something, but yeah, check this out, guys. I mean, look. It is absolutely spotless guys. The climbing frame all came up lovely as well. Um, I've cleared a drain down there. Yeah, check that out man, I'm really happy. Again, same here, look. It's just, see the rubber's actually gone black. It's like just the sort of top bits wore off. Again, I don't know if something's been sat there, but it ain't coming off. Um, yeah, there we are. Beautiful. So I must say I'm actually buzzing with this. Like, I'm really, really happy. It looks so much better than that first time I've done it, which just shows I've definitely learned something along the way, haven't I, guys? Um, I'm really proud of this. It looks awesome. I know they're going to be super pleased as well. And the kids, when they come back, they're going to be like, whoa, we've got a new playground. Yeah, oh, I'm hyped. Right, one last look. Check it out. See, it looks kind of, I don't know, it looks weird on camera. It doesn't look as good as it does in real life. You just get a couple of these little worn away stones. It kind of really shows up because <laughs> the rest is so clear. But I don't know, if you look straight down, it's perfectly clean. Um, but yeah, oh, buzzing. So I've just blasted, this was all completely flooded here as well. So I've blasted this down to a drain down here. Um, so I'll just get out of the rain because it's uh, coming down a bit now. So yeah, I mean, the time is one o'clock. Oh, well, it's nearly one. Um, I could have done that a lot faster, but like I really wanted to do like the best ever job on that so i've waited i left the hypochlorite down for like half an hour longer than i normally would as well just to give it all the best chance so um and it was two treatments as well um but yeah that's it guys end of the video so i am very disappointed folks in my probably the last 12 months of videos to be honest we've had some good ones in there but basically i've been putting too much pressure on myself feeling like every single day i go out i have to record a video and i've not been enjoying it that much um and i think that's come through on the videos as well i've been getting stressed out because at the end of the day guys nine times out of ten i have to focus on the job especially when i'm training people up and stuff so the filming's gone second place and then i've tried to scramble a video together and it's been crap guys it's like i can't expect you folks to watch it so i came up with this new idea it's road to, an, to a, a million pound business. I know it sounds far-fetched, guys. Obviously, I could have started it from when I actually started the business, like three years ago, um, but I'm starting it from this year. So again, we're already in month three. So it's year one, month three, road to the million pound business. So I don't know what we've made so far this year, but that will be the total on screen at the start of the video. And then whenever the next video is, I don't, I'm only going to film cool job, got cool jobs guys i'm not going to film every single job so i can't tell you when the next video is going to be but we are in like cool job season at the moment it's spring summer and autumn where all the madness happens um so the videos will be whenever sometimes there might be three a week sometimes there might be one every two weeks i, I can't give you a time i'm just making a promise to myself now there won't be a single video up on this channel that i'm not happy with um and to be honest I would say nine out of 10 of the last videos from the last 12 months I've been unhappy with. Um, and I don't like it, it makes me lose my love for it. Um, yeah, and I can't expect you guys to enjoy a video if I don't enjoy it myself. So 
this is the future now guys road to a million pound business there's other goals to tick off as well I'm, i want to buy a house this year um there's a lot of stuff i want to do um, i want to get off the tools full time next year so i need more members of staff there's going to be loads of little goals you've probably seen on the intro the list of things that we've got to get done um so the broad scope is we're gonna make a million pound business. And that'll be basically total turnover. It's probably gonna take five years, guys. I don't know, it might take less, might take longer, um, but it's a long game plan. So this is basically just gonna be the series on this channel now for forever until I make it, you know, and then we'll start a new new video idea, I don't know, but it's, this is gonna last a long time, guys. So each, at the start of every video, there's gonna be an updated figure of how far away we are. Um, and it could be in three years to this day, when instead of the intro saying we're a long way off or we've got a long way to go, it would be we're getting closer, you know, which would be really cool. So obviously if I made a million pound, guys, you can bet I've spent probably 60% of that trying to make a million pound. <laughs> you know, it's one of them. And like these school jobs and stuff, it's like, you know, we don't really make any money on these at all. Um, we do them for the love of it. Um, but the normal jobs, obviously, we, we do our normal day sort of earnings and things. So you're not going to see, a lot of the times I'll probably film some of some jobs um, and then I'll throw them in as a little segment of like what we've been up to since the last video. And it would just be like a minute of just like 15 different jobs, for example. Um, just small ones that I just don't want to film, you know what I mean? Because you guys have seen a three bed semi-detached roof clean a thousand times now, haven't you? Um, and I am deathly bored of filming them. So unfortunately it's the most common job that's how we make our money that's like our bread and butter so yeah i don't know guys long outro sorry about that i hope you're pleased with that job i know the kiddies are going to be pleased i'm pretty sure the the teachers at the school are, are happy already they've been popping their head out the window like hey look at that um so yeah i've got to go rescue the guys now they're on another job um i've still got two more jobs to go today guys if any of them are good i'll i'll film them if not i'll see you in the next video we're gonna make a million pound guys and then when we do it I don't know, we'll, we'll do something special. But yeah, all right, see you later, guys.